What was considered as the biggest mistake by AP gave us what we all dream of today, the 39mm Royal Oak. What even the designer of original Royal Oak considered as big mistake by AP gave us offshore in 42mm case size. Breaking the traditions, AP upscaled the offshore to 44mm in 2011. Is this a third supposed mistake? Let's get the facts straight. It's not a small watch. It's big, bold, bad, gritty, muscular, angular and substantial in its presence. No magics here. It wears big and loud and has an aggressive and proud profile. You don't buy gold hoping it will not glitter. You don't buy offshore hoping it will be a small and go under the radar. But if you want to feel the watch on the wrist and experience the muscular and extremely sporty looks, the good news is it despite being large watch at 44mm, we are just great even on smaller wrists. Having the nickname as novelty, what makes this watch very unique from everything else from the rest of the competition is the bold case profile with the pushes that protrude out, making the watch extremely sporty looking. Interestingly, the pushes don't come straight out of the case in one step. Rather, there's a big angular collar between the pushes and the watch case, which then has further lips with fine chamfering done to them, before the next case profile begins for the pushes themselves. The pushes then don't stop there, they taper out further aggressively as they go towards the crown, leaving a very sporty, bold, angular and proud look. The crown guards follow the same trend and have multiple facets to showcase the same angular profile and balancing out overall watch looks. The crown is hexagonal which not only complements the proud and muscular pusher profile but makes it very easy to turn and wind the watch. The pushers with exaggerated and unparalleled protruded profile give the watch a very unique, bold, proud and muscular look. For some reason. The pushes remind me of some sports car and follow the same proportions, profiles and aggressive looks like a luxury sports car. The watch comes with iconic hexagonal bezel with 8 polished screws and maintains the iconic looks of the case. The best part is that when you go this big in size, it becomes even harder to avoid hits on the bezel. And then the watch comes with ceramic bezel to easily take the daily beating while ensuring that watch looks are not compromised. Interestingly, the ceramic bezel, despite being a very hard material to rub or damage, comes with signature AP vertical brushing, which is a welcome addition in the recent models of Novelty Offshores. The bezel further maintains polished bezels to add a contrast to the brushed face of the bezel, enhancing the overall experience and adding to the luxurious look of the watch. Similar to bezel, the pushes and crown are also made of same ceramic material, adding to the overall durability of the watch. This model reference 26400SO is introduced in 2019 and is limited run of only 400 watches which is also boutique exclusive meaning you unfortunately can't buy it from your ADs. The dial color is beautiful green which is very subtle yet casual. I personally preferred the green dial on these amongst the three trims introduced in the SIHH event being blue, green and brown and that's purely because of my personal preference. I do feel that the green is a little more versatile and long lasting being not too bright or loud. The interesting part is that it remains dull and dark until the light hits it directly and then it turns into funky green shade. The dial pattern on offshore is mega tapestry which is very different from grand tapestry. Where grand tapestry pattern offers circular grooves and smaller scale sections, mega tapestry offers bigger scales and matte dial with absolutely no reflection in the dial from light source. The interesting part is that the big scales throw their own shadows displaying intermittently horizontal and vertical lines on the dial face. 
The bezel is dark green in color and lends the watch two-tone look, adding to the interest and character to the watch. The date comes with Cyclops lens and unlike Rolex Submariner, the Cyclops lens is not mounted on the crystal itself, rather it is mounted on the dial. Hence, you get a flat watch crystal yet a magnified date. The case profile and machining done on it is as refined and perfect as you would expect from AP. The offshores present a sporty version of Royal Oaks but no compromises here in terms of finish and craftsmanship. If anything, the machining here is more demanding primarily due to being also done on hard ceramic material. The marvels the case itself does when you start to experience craftsmanship is truly beyond compare. Due to signature case polishing and bevels AP do in the watches, the piece plays with the light like nothing else. The intermittently polished and brushed surfaces lend the effect and experience that is worth every cent of its price. The hexagonal bezel is further complemented by the case side profiles that also have sharp bends and curves to align with the profile of the bezel itself. The case is mostly all brushed but comes with absolutely beautiful horizontal pattern of brushing that no one but AP can do. To complement the sporty look of the watch and especially the green color, the watch comes with camo strap that to me personally works just perfectly. The watch does come with the plain green strap in the box too if the camo makes the watch a little too loud or casual for your day-to-day -day use. The watch features exhibition case pack to showcase inside the case AP's in-house caliber 3126-3840 beating at 21,600 beats per hour. The caliber has been in service since 2007 and keeps time well. For me personally, the watch is gaining only one second in two days which outclasses the COSC certification too. AP however don't claim this certification and they are not even chasing it. The movement has been in service since 2007 and has proven to be reliable and accurate. The self-finding movement is based off AP caliber 3120 with Dubois Depras chronograph module and consists of 365 parts and 59 jewels beating at 21,600 Hz to offer a 50-hour power reserve. The AP3126 caliber is immaculately executed and features hand-finished movement with beautiful Geneva stripes on all the surfaces, diamond engraved beveled edges and inverse nailing on the bridges, ceramic ball bearings to offer a movement independent of lubricants, hacking seconds hand to allow you to set the time accurately and then a 22 karat skeletonized gold rotor that is given a dark galvanic treatment to enhance the cosmetic appeal. The chronograph module features cam actuated mechanism as opposed to column wheel meaning that starting the chronograph will require a little extra push as opposed to column wheel mechanism that has a more smoother and less jumpy or clicky action to it. On the rest the watch is big and veers true to its size. It is by no means a small watch and it's not intended to be small. It's big, bold and bad, but all in a good way. It is loud, sits tall and speaks out aloud for itself. Wearing this watch, you expect to get the attention as it can virtually not go unnoticed. And that's not purely due to its size, rather its muscular, sporty and angular looks. But all being said, the watch is still wearable on wrists as small as 6.5 inches or 16.5 cm which is what my wrist size is as you can see on the screen. I do not recommend wearing it on a wrist smaller than 6 inches unless watch lugs flaring out of wrist is not a concern to you. The watch comes with 30mm wide strap which balances out the wide case brilliantly. The strap does not taper down steeply and even at buckle it is 24mm hence maintaining the wider looks of the watch and leaving the overall look very balanced and uniform. The strap comes with a tank buckle which does look very solid and sturdy. AP Royal Oak Offshore in 44mm is not a watch for everyone. It's not a no-go zone if you have smaller wrists and it may not be the perfect watch for you even if you have larger than 8 inches wrists. It is a watch for you if you really want to experience a little extra wrist presence and sportiness in the watch yet not compromising on the overall balanced look of the watch. It is for you if you want a watch that not only hugs the wrist, rather embraces it from all around with the widest fill any watch can offer, all the way from the case to the strap, even at buckle. It is for you if you want to experience the size in the best of best craftsmanship that money can buy.
Don't forget to give thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and if you want to support my work don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your network. Thanks for watching and until next time have a good one.